Now, Australian Stern Hugh, Rio Tinto Group's iron ore executive in China, pleaded guilty to bribery charges in a Shanghai court. Eight months ago, when the Rio Tinto executives were first detained, China said they stole state secrets, a considerably stronger accusation than the one they face now. Bloomberg Steve Engel is following the case. He joins us on the phone from Shanghai. Steve, good morning or good evening to you. Tell us, what's the latest on this case? The development seems to be happening moment by moment now. Yes, Eric, good morning. I am actually standing right in front of the courthouse. They have uh, convened for the day, uh, adjourned for the day, excuse me. Uh, we, we just got some uh, interesting revelations from the Australian uh, Consul General in Shanghai, Mr. Tom Connor, who said uh, that Stern Hu was in court today and he did face those bribery charges and did admit to some of the charges, uh, two charges, in fact, totaling about 790,000 U.S. dollars for one of the charge and a million renminbi for the other, which is about 150,000, so about 900,000 U.S. dollars he has admitted to in bribes in day one of this quite sensational case here uh, where prosecutors in China laid out their evidence against Stern Hu, who was uh, Rio Tinto's former head of iron ore negotiations here in China, along with three mainland Chinese co-workers. A very interesting first day. Tomorrow we'll get uh, the uh, defense uh, statements, and then in the afternoon and Wednesday, we'll wind up the, the trial with closed door proceedings uh, when they will, the prosecutors will lay out the case of uh, uh, commercial secrets, which is the very sensitive issues regarding perhaps those iron ore negotiations. Eric? Steve, thanks very much. Sensitive, perhaps an understatement when it comes to secrets in China. That is Bloomberg Steve Engel reporting from Shanghai.